After watching the June 27th version of Raw and listening to Seth Rollins' opening promo, he has a lot of valid points here. Why should Roman Reigns be rewarded for violating the wellness policy? When I know there were many wrestlers before him that have violated it and it affected their push. Now I know that people are saying that he's the top guy, the top dog in the company. He really isn't the top dog in the yard. He's probably maybe the second, but not really the top babyface in the, in, in the entire uh, industry. More than likely, well, the company, more than likely it is by far John Cena. He's going to always be the top guy. He's a better talker. He's, well, besides the fact he's attractive, he's a, uh, he's a, he's an okay wrestler, but the guy is promotable. A little bit more promotable than Roman Reigns. But the one thing that shows me how John Cena is a top guy compared to Roman Reigns is the fact that at his return in Wisconsin, this guy demanded the crowd without trying. Now, John Cena is not the most light guy in the company. We, he, we all know he's still booed, and it's kind of like a mixed bag now. He's been off the screen for a while, and when he was off, a lot of changes happened, and a lot of pushes have happened. So when he made his return... From what I expected, I thought everyone was going to boo him and everything and no one's going to listen. People shut their mouths and listened to everything he had to say for his return in Wisconsin. That doesn't usually happen. I mean, it does happen. It happened. It always happens with Bray Wyatt. But it doesn't happen with a baby face that is much hated as John Cena. And moving on to another wrestler, to Seth Rollins. We saw Seth Rollins' documentary, WWE 24, Reclaim, Redesign, Rebuild, which was an amazing documentary, I might add. For those who haven't seen it, go see it. It's really good. But his entire storyline was set up for not only that, which was genius in my opinion, it was set up for him to be a babyface. But for some reason, they're trying to make him a heel because of Roman Reigns. They want Roman Reigns to stay a babyface, and they want him to stay a heel. Here's the problem with that. And the same thing with John Cena. John Cena's return, as well as Seth Rollins' return, was set up differently. It was set up to meet those, I guess, it was set up to meet that scenario. But when it comes to Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins has more of a redemption story than Roman Reigns could ever have. Roman Reigns purposely made a mistake. He violated the wellness policy, fully aware of what he was doing, and he has to be punished for it. So why in the world is he going to be rewarded for it? It makes more sense for Seth Rollins to have that situation, to have that scenario built up, than Roman Reigns could ever have. Because Roman Reigns purposely made a mistake. Seth Rollins' knees blew out. He had no control over that situation at all. He blew both of his knees. So he has more of a redemption story than Roman Reigns could ever have. So I know they dumped a lot of money into Roman Reigns, but they're not going to get their money back if they continue to try to manipulate the crowd. The crowd wasn't psychologically manipulated, in my humble opinion, because they saw exact the storyline was built very well around Seth Rollins. It was a good story told. And it was a story that made sense. This guy lost his title because he blew both his knees out. Even though he was a champ for real and went out with a blaze of glory, in my opinion, fighting Kane and body slamming him with both knees gone, the guy should have gotten the belt back. That's just my opinion. I love me some Dean Ambrose. Don't get it twisted. I love me some Dean Ambrose. But the story was set up far better with Seth Rollins than it would with any other character. And with John Cena, his return, I mean, let's be honest, we know that he's an amazing talker. And without even an inch of, of retort towards the crowd, the guy actually demanded respect without trying. If you're able to shut the crowd down without trying, that shows how good you are. Now, John Cena was gone for a while. A lot of changes have happened. And when he came back, you know, that they have to go through me. I'm fine with that. That guy was an amazing talker that night. And his entire feud with AJ Styles was amazing. But, but 
taking off of those guys and going back on the Roman Reigns, nothing is set up for him to actually succeed as a babyface. Nothing is. His entire storyline is set up for him to go heel. No matter how much they try to make him a babyface, it is not going to work. It isn't. Number one, the crowd hated him from the get-go because they decided to make him Superstar of the Year when it should have been Daniel Bryan. And this is not anything because I'm a Daniel Bryan fan. It is because of WrestleMania 30. Just saying. That was one of the biggest triumphs of his career. So it made sense for him to be Superstar of the Year and not Roman Reigns. They literally messed Roman Reigns up at the Royal Rumble when they took him out for 25 minutes or 27 minutes in a match and not have him fight like a champion when he was supposed to fight like a champion. And that would have won the crowd over. It was all set up very well at SummerSlam when he finally had enough emotion to get pissed off at everybody that screwed him and beat the crap out of him. That's the reason why the crowd cheered for him because he finally had emotion. He finally was pissed off. He couldn't take it anymore. And he literally took out everybody else in the ring. That made sense. That's why people cheered for him. Then you had the Royal Rumble. The first time the Royal Rumble had 30 men going up against one guy. And they're saying this guy's Superman. Would he be or would he go down and blaze glory? Like go down like a freaking soldier. Which what a lot of people really wanted him to see. They wanted him to see him fight all these men. All 30 men to see if he could be the, the last one standing. That's what everybody wanted to see. And they ruined that by taking him out. With uh, having the League of Nations take him out. 25 minutes of the match. Probably a little bit longer. And then he came back at the very end to lose Triple H. They messed him up there. It has been very poor booking for Roman Reigns. To have anybody like him, and just when they're going to do it right, they screw it up because it's not the way that they think it should go. Instead of allowing stuff to happen in a natural, organic way, they do it in their own vision, even though their vision is extremely skewed. And it affects poor Roman. It affects his push. It affects his merch buys. It affects him overall. And that's not right. What they should have done is allow him to sit out for the, the battleground and not have him be in the main event. They should have had AJ Styles there and have him come and interrupt the match. If they wanted to start the redemption story, fine. But honestly, it should have happened after battleground. In my opinion, it shouldn't have been a redemption story because he made a mistake. He purposely made a mistake. He was aware of what he was doing. Seriously, he was aware of what he was doing. He shouldn't be awarded for something he was aware of doing. I'm not saying that the guy shouldn't be forgiven. I'm saying it should not. he shouldn't be rewarded for being punished. He shouldn't. I'm sorry. That's, it, it, that's a buildup that should be happening in this storyline. A, a believable buildup should happen. He made a mistake. They decided to have this on air. And now they got to roll with it. He should actually be, this should be, make him angry. This shouldn't make him, oh, well, you know, guys, I failed, you know, I'm sorry. No! Have this guy be mean! Have this guy have a mean streak! Make him a mean champion! Make him a heel champion! The kids are gonna cry! Duh! It's gonna happen regardless! That's not their responsibility! Their responsibility is to entertain. Not everybody is going to agree with this. But honestly, I'm not saying that I represent the masses because I don't. But, in, but everything is just forming up for him to go bad. Why not do it? The one thing I'm going to say about this is that when it comes to Roman Reigns, everything is geared up for him to be a heel. He could be an amazing heel champion. He has every right to be pissed at the crowd, not pander to them. The crowd has treated him like crap for, for almost a year. Why should he pander to those people? Why shouldn't he go against them? He should. They're not behind him. So why don't he like, screw you. I'm going to go do what I want. Do that. All that I'm saying is if they want to get their money back, they need to have him go heel and make him a heel champion. Because if they make him a heel champion, it's going to put so much heat on him and the belt, the people are going to be begging to take the belt off of him. It's going to work. They'll get their money back. But I don't know why they're scared, and I doubt they'll execute it. But guys, I want to hear your thoughts on this. Leave a comment in the comments just below. Let me know how you feel about this. How do you feel about Roman Reigns going heel? Do you think this whole redemption story is ridiculous? Because I do. I'm hoping they change your mind, but I doubt it. <sighs> Ninja Girl 30 signing off. Peace out. Later.